let's discuss a programming question reverse words in a string so the problem statement is given an input a string and we have to reverse the string word by word so in this problem we have given an input a string and we have to reverse the string word by word so let's uh, take few examples to understand this problem statement so in the first example the input a string is the sky is blue so we have to reverse the string word by word what it means is so the blue uh, will come first then is then sky and then uh, the so basically uh, the words uh, the character in a word is not reversed the complete word will be reversed so blue will come first then is then sky and then the so in the second example uh, so we have the uh, leading and trailing spaces and then the string which is hello world so world is a complete word it will come first world with exclamation mark then hello and hello comes here so when we reverse a string so it should not contain leading or trailing spaces so we have to remove this leading and trailing spaces now let's uh, see the third example in the third example the input string is a good so yeah here is the multiple spaces and then example so when we reverse this string the example comes first then single space then good then a so when we reverse a string so we have to reduce multiple spaces between two words to a single space in the reverse string so we have to take care of these conditions uh, these cases while do uh, while reversing a string string word by word and here are few important points so word is defined as a sequence of non-space characters so uh, it is clear then the second point is input string may contain leading or trailing spaces how however your reverse string should not contain leading or trailing spaces so we have already seen in example two and in the third point you need to reduce multiple spaces between two words to a single space in the reverse string so uh, this point we uh, we have already covered in the example uh, in the third example so this is the problem statement and now let's discuss multiple approaches to solve this problem now let's discuss how we can solve this problem using two pointers so the idea here is to take two pointer pointers one is pointing at the beginning of the word and other pointer points to the end of the word and then we traverse a string and when we encounter a space we insert them in a string bindler so let's visualize uh, the complete process so uh, i have uh, declared one a string and the string is java ebook and so in this string so there is leading space and there is a trailing space so now we know its output and its output is first ebook come and then one space and then java so the output is this string which is ebook and java and the uh, this reverse string does not contain any leading and trailing spaces so how we can solve this uh, using two pointers so now let's say one pointer is start I'm uh, in short form I am writing as s and one pointer is I so what we can do is whenever we encounter space we keep moving this start pointer and now when we encounter non-space character so start pointer remain as it is and this i pointer will keep moving until it does not encounter any space so it moves uh, it it goes here then it goes here then it goes here now it uh, when it points at this uh, this character so it is non-space uh, so it is a space character so what we can do is we can take this substring and we can insert them in a string builder so first java is inserted and we insert them at zeroth offset so what it means is uh, you will understand shortly then now what we can do is so in next iteration again so we encounter so till now we traverse the string at this point now in next iteration so when the value of i is incremented it will point at this index now start will point at this index and again we move i until this space is encountered so again we take this substring so we take this substring 
and we insert them with space so here a space and this a string so now finally uh, now after in next iteration uh, it moves at uh, next index which is a space so it will continue moving and now so the value of i so this loop will run if the value of i is less than a string length now so this condition is not satisfied and we came out of this loop and we finally return this final string which is reverse word by word and now let's see the code so here i have declared a string builder and now i am traversing this string uh, and the value of i start from zeroth index and here is the condition so we move so now we start from uh, the character which is present at zeroth index so it is a space character so we keep uh, so we continue what it means is so we move to next iteration from this step so this is a space so we move to next iteration now the value of i is zero in next iteration it is one again it is a space we move to next iteration now it is j so in a start pointers we assign the value of j now the value of j is 2 so and we run this loop and we keep incrementing the value until it encounter space so we keep uh, incrementing the value of i so i will move to this step then this so till this point this s and i pointer points at this index now we have to uh, keep as s at s as it is so at s stands for start pointer so s start pointer as it is and we keep moving i so we keep moving i until it encounters this space then we came out of this loop and we take this word and if we have not inserted any word in a string builder it means its length is zero so we insert this uh, java at zeroth offset and in next iteration again the uh, i will start from this point and uh, the start pointer so we assign the value uh, value of i to a start pointer it means s will start pointer will now points at this index and uh, we do the same uh, process we keep incrementing the value of i until in it encounters a space and then now we have already put java in a string builder so this else condition will uh, run so first we uh, insert so let's say initially we put java now we first put space so a space and then we put this string which is ebook so ebook now you can see and after that in next iteration uh, so there uh, there is uh, two trailing spaces so we keep continue from this step and then we came out of this loop and we return this string which is a reverse word by word now let's discuss our second approach in which we will solve this problem using inbuilt functions. Now let's understand our second approach and what these three line does. So the idea here is to first split this string into an array of words and here I am using the regex and what it does is basically if there are more than one spaces in a string so it will not create multiple words so if you use split without uh, this regex so this string will be split like this so at uh, at zeroth index it is the empty word then java and then ebook and then again the empty word so if if we use this split without this regex so it will split like this so if we use only this space this empty uh, so this is one space without this plus so it will split like this so we have used this as, uh, plus so that uh, if in a string if there are more than one spaces it will not create multiple words then so now the word will be uh, the string will be split like this java and then ebook then we are reversing uh, this array 
so we are reversing the array of words so so at so at this step uh, the array will look like this after this step the array will look like ebook and java and after that so at the end we are joining uh, the words so ebook then this delimiter and the delimiter is space so a space and then java and finally we are returning this string so we get this string and we are returning this string using this, these three line of codes we have solved this problem so in this uh, tutorial i have explained two approaches to solve this problem and if you know any other approach to solve this problem you can let us know through your comments and that's it for this video tutorial for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video and please don't forget to like this video